In this video, we're going to look at saving, closing, and opening an access database table and amending that table. So I've got my work colleagues table here. To close the table itself, all I'd have to do is click on the cross, and I've not saved the changes. However, to open it, all I have to do is double click in the work colleagues table in the navigation pane Excel or Access sorry saves everything as we go so it does just save everything if you want to save your work all you'd have to do is click on the office button and then click save and it will save the changes or save any new work that you've worked on but remember, as you go through, as soon as you exit a cell, the database table is updated and saved. To close Access itself, all we have to do is close the program window. And then to open our database and table, there are two ways that we can do this. One is to go through Start Office Access 2010. And then we should have the table available in our recent area, or the database rather, so if I click on that. And do be aware, we didn't see this in the classroom, but some um, at home, for example, you might get a security warning about your database. It says some active content has been disabled. Click for more details. If I just click enable content, because we know it's safe, because we created the table ourselves, it's all fine. And again, to open the table, all I'd have to do is click on, or double-click, Work Colleagues in the Navigation pane. Second way, slightly easier way to open the table, is to navigate to the save point of the table. In this instance, I saved it in Documents. Find the Access database, double-click, and it will open Access, and it will open the table. Well, it opened Access anyway. So that's saving and opening. And remember, it will save everything as you go through. And sometimes that can be more of a hindrance than a help. Because if you do make mistakes, you have to be very rigorous in checking back what you've done. If we have a look at amending information now, and again, going back to the handout workbook, and this is on a page 11, it says change the town field for Sue Pilkington from Newcastle to Leeds. So all I have to do is make sure I'm in the right record. And the easiest way to do this is to position the mouse cursor over these left-hand blocks. The mouse cursor turns into a right-pointing arrow. And if I click, it highlights that whole record. And that way I know I'm in the right place. And then I just click in the box that needs changing. I can highlight Newcastle and type in Leeds. And then it's change Alice Kettering's title to Mrs. And again, all we have to do is find that right record and type in the new information. As you amend your database or table, you'll see that what wherever the cursor is flashing, we get the little pen icon in that left hand column and that makes you aware of which record you're in and where you'd um, make changes if you start typing. Again I've just made changes if I close my table without saving those changes in, if, indeed if I close access and then open it up again I haven't made a conscious effort to save those changes but they are still applied. So uh, Sue Pilkington still lives in Leeds and Alice Kettering is still a missus. So as I say the program will save everything you do as you work through it. To add information and this is 
where you start with ITQ level 1 being given a database to open and adding information to a table all we have to do is make sure that we're in the new record area and type in the information that we're asked for we can get there relatively simply with such a short table by just clicking in the new record area identified by the little um, star symbol we also have towards the bottom of the screen we have the status bar and this allows us to navigate through a large database by clicking on any of the appropriate buttons and then the new blank record will take us straight to the new blank record area to insert information it's exactly the same as creating a database table to begin with all we have to do is type in the information that we're given and again as I said in a previous video it's slightly better to work across a record rather than doing one column at a time because that way we can make sure the information is typed in for each person correctly astute amongst you may have noticed that I've filled in my thing incorrectly and it should be I've put in the wrong date of birth for Adam Smith so again it's being aware of mistakes that you've made and going back and changing them as soon as you recognize that mistake there we are. so that is saving opening amending and adding to your database one last thing that's quite important is deleting records again because the program saves as you type deleting can be um, well it can be a bit nerve-wracking perhaps again following the handout we are asked to delete Troy Jenkins because he's been made redundant so as we've seen earlier to highlight a record all we'd have to do is left click in that left hand column where we've got the right pointing mouse cursor and then to delete a record we can either right click and then we've got delete record from the pop-up menu or in the home ribbon in the records group we have delete it's a dual function button we've either got the delete button or we've got the drop down arrow for delete delete record delete column in this instance we're deleting the record so if I press delete and it is immediately deleted but then we get the access pop-up dialog box saying you're about to delete one records if you click yes you won't be able to undo this delete operation are you sure you want to delete these records and again it's a question of making sure that you've deleted the right one which can be helped by the fact that it is already missing if we click yes and then find it's the wrong record with access we cannot insert new information in between um, 
previous records. If I go in there and I say new record and that's taken me down to the bottom. If I tried to put something in between Norman and Jenny I say new record and again it's dropped me down to the bottom of the table. So if you mistakenly delete the wrong record you will have to type it back in at the very bottom of that table. So it's being very careful and being very aware of what it is that you're doing with your database. And again I don't need to worry about saving any changes before closing access because it's saved everything as I go through.